both of those were really good. Um, you know, the, the start's the start, and uh, I thought our guys, you know, battled hard, fought hard, and, uh, and then it was over. And then from the, that point on, I thought we played a real good first period. Um, obviously not the second period we wanted to play, and a great response in the third period to make sure we're going out and got the win. So that was pretty much it. Did you think it was going to start that way? Though? No. Yeah. That was, uh, you know, those our guys were reacting to what was happening on the ice. I thought they did a fantastic job, all five of them. What specifically about the second period would you hope that uh, it's a change It wasn't a volume thing. It was a, it was just, you know, face-off goal and, you know, details defensively. It was probably, I don't know, it was probably five chances. And they scored on three of them. But the three of them, I felt like we could have been better. We could have controlled what happened in the second period by making better decisions. And against New Jersey, you have to do that. They have high speed and high skill. And if you give them opportunities, they'll, they'll make you pay. And they did. And so there was a reset after the second period. And our guys went out and fought hard for that game in the third period. What angered you so much that you responded the way you do on the bench? Uh, it's just, it's just, I think it's probably just emotions more than anything. You know, coaches, players, whatever. There's, there's obviously a little bit between the two teams, and, you know, it's just, you know, I think the emotions get in there. Does that tell you anything? How's that for vague? <laughs> <laughs> Does that tell you anything about your team when you see what they did? I, I I thought it, I thought that they they battled hard for each other. Not only the guys that were involved in the opening faceoff, but then the guys that were left that had to dig in and fight and fight back. Like I said, we went down three two. You now got to dig in in the last twenty minutes and make sure you win that game. And um, you know I really liked the third and the way we responded to that. Are there adjustments you make when when you know you're down to ten and four? Or yeah, it's not, there's not a lot. I mean, there's four D. It's not like you can move them around. You know, as soon as it was over, Foxy came back and they said both both D got kicked out, and I said, "Yep, thirty minutes, <laughs> thirty minutes." And um, and then the bench was you know short up front too, and um, that's just they had the same thing. You know, both teams dealt with the same thing. So we were wondering if you if you have a forward that could play D in an emergency. Yeah, we were talking about it on the bench. We probably would have we had we had a mindset of maybe who we would have thrown back there. I think we probably would have slipped Mika back there. How much was Kakos going on momentum? Well, I was, it was good. I mean, the, the, they, they were locking down. They had the lead, and they were just they were locking the neutral zone. And so we, it took a minute to get through it. Capo got in behind them, and just a terrific shot. And um, From there, we seemed to gain a little bit of momentum. More in the offensive zone, more pucks going to the net. I, I thought we got... In the second period, we just got lulled a little bit on the outside in the offensive zone and being a little bit too cute. And like I said, their speed and their skill, it turns over on a dime, and they're gone the other way. Shusty made a couple of big saves in that period too. And so it was, um, it was a good response in the third. I thought Capo's goal got us going. And, you know, the, obviously the beginning was really good. There was a little bit of a letdown probably after the first period. You're up 2 nothing. You go back out on the ice thinking it's over. And... They're fighting for their lives out there, New Jersey, and they're they're scrapping for points, and they proved that in the second period. So it wasn't our best period, but again, I, I thought the response was good in the third. Peter, did you when it happened in the beginning? Did you recognize right away you you both were going to be down four skaters at least? Like, I didn't know it was going to happen. No, I mean after as a well thing. afterwards, I did the quick math about I, I, you know usually when it happens, it's an it's an altercation, and then it's the second altercation, but. There's usually not the third, the fourth, and the fifth altercation as well. And so I think from that point, uh, when they came over and clarified that there's one five-minute penalty and then there's five-minute penalties in game misconducts. How do you feel like playing in emotional games like this and learning how to manage emotional games like this can benefit you in the long run? I don't know. Our guys, they, they, they stuck together tonight. you know. And in the end, the guys on the ice in the third period fought hard for the guys who fought early. And so it was, it was a real positive in the end, it's a real positive night for us. A lot of close games for you guys as of late. Um, does it ever bother you that you guys haven't been able to blow out teams and you know, get a little bit of a last into the game? I would love to blow out teams. You know, it just doesn't happen on a regular basis. It's not playoff hockey either. And so the fact that we're scraping for wins, I think that's a good thing for us.